We're going to do some coordinate geometry together, uh, finding gradients, equations of lines, points of intersection. Um, and we're doing past paper questions, so the credit goes to Cambridge. And uh, check my website, explainingmaths.com, for all my other free resources. So what is it saying? It says, three points have coordinates A, uh, 2, 5, B, 10, 9, and C, 6, 2. Line L1, uh, so the first line, passes through A and B. And the second line passes through C and is perpendicular to that first line. Find the coordinates of the points of intersection, of the point of intersection, I should say, of line 1 and line 2. Okay, um, well, although it's not necessary, I like to make a quick sketch at the beginning of the situation. So everything lies in the first quadrant, all the coordinates are positive, and this doesn't have to be very accurate. Um, as long as it's roughly where those points are, point A, 2, 5, so it's over there. Point A, let's put the coordinates next to it, there you go, B, 10, 9, so further and higher, there we go, that's point B, um, 10, 9, will that fit, like this, there we go, and point C is 6, 2, uh, so roughly there, that's point C, there we go. And it says line 1 goes through A and B, so let me just uh, draw that roughly, um, line 1, and line 2 through C, and perpendicular to that first line, so roughly like that, that will be line 2. Okay, and then the question is, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of those two lines. So we're interested in the coordinates of that point. There you go, so that has an x-coordinate, comma, followed by a y-coordinate. Okay, and that's for seven points, and uh, you do not just get seven points for the final answer, you get points for your workings. So what can we do to start with? Well, we can find the equation of that first line, and we can find the equation of the second line, and if we equal them together, we'll find that point where those two lines are the same, where they are equal. Yeah, so that is the objective now. So let's start with line one. Uh, there you go, line one. And the general equation of a line, y equals mx plus c, had the gradient intercept form. m is the gradient, c the y-intercept. And we'll start with finding the gradient. And the gradient is the difference in the y-direction over the difference in the x-direction. And I have more videos explaining that on my website, explainingmaths.com. So what is the difference in the y-direction? It goes from 9 to 5. So the difference... 9 minus 5 over, and the difference in the x direction from 10 to 2, so 10 minus 2. 9 minus 5 is 4 over 8, so that is a 1 over 2. So the equation already looks for line 1, y equals a half x plus c. Now, how do we find c? How do we find the y-intercept? We can substitute one of the two points in the equation to find c. Let me take that first point two, five, and the numbers are lower, but it doesn't matter which point you take. So y is five when x is two, you see? Now you have one unknown, which is c. So five equals one plus c, c equals four. Okay, so the equation of line one, y equals a half x plus four. Let me put a box around that because these questions are it takes a while um, to solve them, eh? so you want to structure your calculations as good as you can. I do not have a lot of space. Normally I would continue vertically, but I'm going to continue here now for line 2. Again, y equals mx plus c. But now to find the gradient, normally I need two points. Eh? Like here I have point A, point B. But for line 2 I only have one point. But they also tell me it is perpendicular to line 1. And what can you say about the gradients of perpendicular lines? That they are each other's reciprocal, but then the opposite sign, so the negative reciprocal. So if the gradient of line one is a half, the reciprocal, eh, if you turn the fraction around, so the denominator goes on top and the numerator goes at the bottom, and you take the opposite sign for the perpendicular uh, line, then it becomes two over one, so minus two over one, which is minus two plus c. Again, perpendicular lines, you take the negative reciprocal, so 2 over 1, sorry, 1 over 2, if you turn that around, becomes 2 over 1, but then because they're perpendicular, you take the opposite sign, minus 2 over 1, and that's where that gradient comes from. To find c, I do a similar thing as I did here, I substitute the point I have, 6, so that is point 6, 2, so y is uh, 2, 
when x is 6 minus 2 times 6 plus c. And to save some space, I'm going to do a few steps in one now. Minus 2 times 6 minus 12 to the other side plus 12. So 2 plus 12 is 14. C is 14. So the equation of line 2, y equals minus 2x plus 14. Again, normally I would write down those steps but I need my space, it's a tiny screen. There you go. So we have line one, the equation, line two. The question is a point of intersection, where are those two lines equal? So you gotta equal them to each other. So a half x plus four, when is that equal to minus two x plus 14? There you go, and you gotta solve that particular equation, one unknown in x, so you have a half x uh, plus two x, which will give you two and a half x, and you have 14 minus four, which is 10. Then you divide both sides by two and a half. 10 divided by two and a half is four. There you go. So the x coordinate is four over here. So let me write that, that's a four. How can I find the y coordinate? Well, I substitute four in one of the two equations uh, because the y coordinates are the same, of course, also for both lines. So one of the two equations, let's say for line two, because we don't really like fractions. So to find the y coordinate, we substitute it, y is minus two times x, so times four plus 14, minus eight plus 14 will be six. There you go. So the coordinates of the point of intersection will be um, four, six. There you go. I hope that was useful. Check my website, explainingmaps.com for all my free resources. And uh, like and share if it was useful, uh, much appreciated. I have loads uh, more videos to come about coordinate geometry or past paper questions. So I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.